Booties with the tea. You will not have to be so loud, Twan. I understand how you feeling, dog, since we had a conversation before we got on the air. Yeah, because y'all got me out on the Leo. No, that's no, what, we don't. That's what I'm saying. No, we don't. We're gonna finish this conversation on air, okay? I, I see we have some issues. Okay, so let's let's straighten all this out. Everybody, booties with the tea. Hi, Toy. Let's have you Hi. Done to me. <laughs> Megan oh, and Tori got wow. us fighting over here, okay? That's how hey, you got me going how against serious, auntie. And that's I'm... how serious Kelsey's, what is it, Toy? What is it testimony. called? Lie. Testimony. Lie. It's not the lies. lies. It's not <laughs> lies, Juan. The lies. And Kelsey and shot, really shot man. Kelsey and shot we... man. What's so good? Period. And we, because we really can't even call it a testimony because she literally got on the stand and pleaded the fit. So for the people that don't know, when you plead the fifth, you're basically saying, I'm not going to answer this question because I do not want to incriminate myself. Or if I answer the question, I'm going to incriminate myself. So she played, she played. But the not opposite. answering the question, side note, kind of says you did it. Absolutely. That's what I'm going for. Yeah. That's exactly Absolutely. what I'm going and for. I, I'm sticking to my guns. I really believe that Kelsey is the one who shot her just based off the things that went on. Is this Kelsey's went- grandma? No. Oh. Really? Okay. You think you think Meg is friends with an old white man, Kelsey Grimm? Listen, Kelsey would, is one of the be. girls. He's one of the girls. Allegedly. Allegedly. He's one of the girls. I would be too. I like Kelsey Grimm. <laughs> but, but no, not Kelsey not, Grimm. But she basically got on the stand and she pretty much said that she was disappointed in Megan, you know, for lying on her, saying that, you know, that there was a hush money situation between her and Tori. My thing is, in this moment, in this day and age, technology, we record everything. We'll record a fight on the street, just like that. Somebody got shot and we ain't record none of that. Not even the aftermath. You ain't say no receipts to say about this whole payoff money situation. Now, a million dollars is a lot of hush money. But it's, I mean, but it's a lot of things that went into play that night that, ever, you know, that people don't know about. They were drinking. They were already arguing. Like, there were just so many things that were happening. I really do believe they were in a threesome situation. That's what this is. This all kind of boils down to. Um, Tori didn't want uh, Kelsey. He wanted me because she's a stallion. Kelsey got mad because she's not a thoroughbred. And, you know, she got shot. Yeah. Well, however this plays out is going to be interesting. So we got more case, more dates in the case. So we'll keep our eyes open for all of that moving forward. But of course, the big news for today has been the passing of DJ Twitch. I was not ready at all. I was not expecting it at all. I wasn't either. It really hurt my heart when I seen it on Twitter. And I was like, wait a minute, Ellen's boy? Yeah. Like he was so hyped, he had, you know, full of life, even just on the show. You know, I don't know him personally, but just to see him on the show, how he interacted with her. Um, and he leaves behind three kids. Yes. And from what yes. I saw, um, the wife went to the police station and reported that, you know, her husband has either been taken or missing because his car was still at home. Mm-hmm. And then next thing you know, police get a call talking about um, a single shooting at a hotel and it was him the information is still coming out and again we are just kind of keeping yeah. the family number one in prayer but wait and kind of see how this plays out and in some cases you might not have any information come forward because the family wants a certain level of you know uh privacy about the situation so we're gonna respect that but yeah it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't sound right at all but, but the uh, reason that we took up this story is people if y'all are out here and you are dealing with these issues that you might not want to talk to close personal friends, please go and seek help. Ending your life is not the way to go. I know it may seem like a release for you, but you have to think about the people that you're leaving behind that really truly love you. And they will be devastated to know that, man, you couldn't even come and talk to me about that. Even though we talk about everything. Well, we got mm, on our page on Facebook, uh, B949FM Birmingham. You can check out therapyforblackmen.org, which is an incredible organization, and 988lifeline.org as well. 
Um, the posts and links are on our website. If you need more information, just to kind of research it, you know, I did some Googling today and you'd be amazed at the number of men who are, 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 are going towards this direction and to resolve certain things in their life. And this is not what we want for you. Love you right. and thank you. And, and again, we're going to talk more about this, but yeah. if we can, Toya, how do we get in contact with Foodie to the T if we want to follow from well, we are the foodies and we are everywhere, but we would love for you to go to our website, which is foodieswiththetea.com. You can find all of our social media handles there and find other ways to follow us. Got you, baby. So Monday through Friday, 7 to 10. Got in the side room, 1420, foodies with the tea. Oh, <laughs> See, boy. <laughs> <laughs>